horses in the yard for the third at Kalgoorlie. Another maiden, this time over a mile, sponsored by NJ Industries. Scratch number four, Pirates Alley, and scratch number 11, Hutamaki. We start with Manganui, horse number one. Start 14 here, but only the first start for new trainer Helen Harding. This horse did sit on the speed two starts ago at Bunbury when beaten under two lengths by Wayne the Payne. That was a pretty cheeky run, I thought. He went back at his first run at Kalgoorlie, never really made an impression. There is a bit of speed in various parts of the line here, but in a world that he could find a forward spot, he'd probably go better than a $14 chance here today. Number two, Schwa Riska has his first start on the goldfields, now with Peter Fernie. Had three runs this campaign with Danny Morton, and prior to that had four runs for David Harrison. So he's had a couple of different homes in his short career to date. Looks a real one-pace staying type. He's at a mile here today, and he's at $8.50, going out of heavy track racing, back relatively on top of the ground today to a soft five. Number three is our favourite, Absolute Plum. Tash Faithful riding here for Peter Fernie. Comes into barrier four after scratchings, and the two runs this time in have been very encouraging. Three lengths off, let Sparks fly when making a sustained run from the back of the field, and then beaten a nose by the stablemate Edwards' choice last start. Steps out to a mile here today, draws well, should get every favour. Hard to beat, $2.65, number three, Absolute Plum. Number four, Pirates Alley are scratching, so we move to five, Tanks for the Memory, also trained now by Peter Fernie. Troy Turner takes the ride, was backed into favouritism last start at $3.30, but could only manage a fourth of six, beaten a length and a quarter by Altina. Thought that he had his chance there and was a little bit plain late, but has to be respected here at eight fifty. Number six, Y Tiri. Hopefully she can break through this time in for Gary Crispin because she's been around for a long, long time. Gary's horse in the previous ran really well, which is a good indicator here. This mare's at start 54 today, and she turns seven during the week. She's been around for a long, long time, and she's still trying to break through for her first victory. Fingers crossed she can go well here. Hasn't raced since the 6th of June, and that was 52 days ago. Number seven, All Chill, a three-year-old filly trained by Justin Robbins. Lisa Staples takes the ride. Has a bit of speed, so that middle alley shouldn't pose too many problems. Hopefully she can punch forward into a nice spot. She's getting closer and closer. Comes through that same Altina run and did beat home tanks by the tanks for the memory by about three quarters of a length. Seven dollars the price today. Number eight, the final bell, is a filly by Safeguard, trained by Peter Fernie, to be ridden by Lucy Fiore. They paid a lot of money for this filly. It was in the six figures, but she's yet to really show that level of ability to justify the price tag. She was two and three quarters by Edward's Choice last start, where she got back, never really made an impression. I need to see a little bit more out of her. Number nine, Miss Ziggy, from the yard of Chris Willis, Cassie Martin, and takes off two kilos to ride at 54. Has got back in two runs at Bunbury and Northam and hasn't got into the race at any stage. Looking for an improved effort here, but she's a $26 chance. Similarly, number 10, Naughty Love, having her second run of the preparation and now first start for new trainer Paul Tapper. Settled at the back of the field on a heavy eight at Northam and looked uncomfortable a long, long way out. $23 the price for her today. Christy Bennett and Paul Tapper combining with number 10, Naughty Love. That's a look at these horses, five minutes away from the NJ Industries maiden over a mile. Three, two, eight and one for me. Three, absolute plum. I thought would get the absolute plum run, just tucked in behind the speed and should be awfully hard to beat here at around that six to four quote. Two, Schwa Risker, a one pace staying type that Keshel Duran can put into the race with a bit of confidence. Eight, the final bell, continues to go around short, but from what we've seen so far, she's lacking a turn of foot. And one Manganui I thought could be an improver here if ridden with a bit of positivity early. Three, two, eight and one, but everything pointed towards Absolute Plum getting every chance here to break through in the third. Five minutes away until Royce Newton picks up to call them home.
Okay, these runners behind the line. This is race number three coming up. It's the NJ Industries Maiden. 1,600 metres the distance. 60 seconds off start time. Absolute Plum, the three, is your favourite at 260. Ahead of Waiteri at 550. Waiteri, this is start number 54 today for this six-year-old looking to break through at Kalgoorlie today. First run at the track. So runners are starting to come forward. The final bell locked away together with Shra Riska. There goes Waiteri into the inside draw. Thanks for the memories coming forward now. Good on you, Stu. Tab Radio on board now. Joining us for the third from Kalgoorlie this afternoon, the NJ Industries Maiden, field of nine to run, three absolute plummet, 260, your favourite with Tab Touch going forward now into line. So we've got a couple to come forward and the line will be complete at the 1600. So... Uh, so far today, the maidens have been taken out by Mr. Beers, Meryl Haley, Lactar Romoli, and Don't Wait for Luck justified the shorts in the previous Brandon and Lucy Fiore. So Miss Ziggy goes forward. We're just awaiting all chill from the Justin Robbins yard. Lisa Staples in the saddle. A $6 chance to come forward and complete the line. All chill locked away. We're set to go from the mile. Stand by. It's the NJ Industries. Field of nine, and the starter sends them on their way. Now, Miss Ziggy from out wide. Just missed the kick. Will be restrained to the tail. Likewise with Shah Riska. Just can't match the early speed. Now, pushing forward early on. It's all chill. Staples trying to cross early on. Kicking up now. Absolute plum. Up there as well as Naughty Love. And there goes around the outside, Manganui to join the leader. They were followed next of all by Waiteri, who settles down midfield on the outside of the final bell. A further length and a half then. Well back in the run, it's Shah Risco with tanks for the memories. And at the tail, it's Miss Ziggy. So a 1,000 metres to run in the back straight. It's all chill, showing the way by a half a length. Running second the outside, Manganui. They were followed by Absolute Plum, who's got into a world-perfect position. The outside, then we have Schwa Riska being followed next of all. It's rather naughty love. Then next, down on the inside, Waiteri, together with the final bell. The outside then, just worse than midfield as they go on to the Charles Street side. It's tanks for the memories. Together with Shah Riska, second last, and Miss Ziggy, it's last of all. 600 metres to run. All chill has been there from the get-go. Shows out still by a half a length for Staples. Running second is Manganui. They were followed by Absolute Plum, who's travelling well with 400 metres to run. Then we had the final bell. Why Teary? Well back to Tanks for the Memories. Naughty Love. Then Schwa Riska, Miss Ziggy. They straighten up for the run home. It's all chill in front with a kick. Manganui trying to reel it in. Down the outside, running on Naughty Love. Together with the final bell, who's extending nicely. It's the final bell who struck the lead. Manganui trying to come back. The favourite can't win. It's all the final bell. And the final bell goes on. Wins easily. A length and a half. Manganui second. Waiteri third. They were followed in by Absolute Plum. Didn't offer much in the straight. Naughty Love. Then we had all chill. Schwa Riska, Miss Ziggy. And Tanks for the Memories was one of the last. Number eight, the final bell. Lucy Fiore, a race to race double. This time for Peter Fernie. And the final bell coming off a last uh, midfield performance behind Edwards Choice. This was her third start at the track this afternoon. And uh, the eight has done this with her ears pricked. That was one of the softer wins you'll see. This afternoon, eight goes into the frame run. One gets second, Manganui, who was always on speed. Helen Harding and Bo Banavik edwards Six gets third, that's Waiteri, who notches up another placing. And three, Absolute Plum, who looked to have a really good run throughout, just couldn't really flatten out in the straight, has finished fourth. A length and a half by a half, 140.17. They did hack along in that back straight, and the speed not all that quick. 8163 after the running of race number three. It's the final belt. Peter Fernie, Lucy Fiore.
by Safeguard from Mississippi Belt, owned by Luke Fernie, Miss M. Manfredini, K. Doak, also Andrew Ingalls and Mogumba Park Syndicate. Second in the one, Manganui for Helen Harding and Bo Banovic Edwards by Mahuda from La Plunge, owned by P. Jeffries, Miss T. Holly, R. Kearns, D. Lightburn, the Bitter Boys Syndicate, J. Eaton, R. Thompson and J. Prentice. Third in the six, Y. Tiri for Gary Crispin and Lactar Ramoli by God Has Spoken from Cracker Thunder, owned by Mrs. J. Leopold and R. Waldock. Fourth in the three, Absolute Plum, Pete Fernie, Tash Faithful, numbers 8163. Race four is next, the Hydromech Handicap. Take out the emergencies, 13 and 14. Cassie Martin goes on to number nine, Bundai Rocks. That's race four coming up at a quarter past two. In the meantime, interim numbers 8163 after the running of race three.